stunt doubles are adrenaline-loving, fearless junkies that willingly step in harm's way each day for the actors they work with, rarely getting acknowledgement for the roles they bring to life with their impeccable talents. Wait until you see the stunt champion who fights for Brie Larson and Captain Marvel, or the cool guy who Tom Hardy can't work without, and you will not believe who Tom Cruise continually works with. Are you new to Screen Rant? If so, give us a like and hit the subscribe button for more great content. Touch my face a lot, bro. Uh, Touch my face a whole lot, man. Zach Efron and Jordan Scott. Let's start out with a shirtless bang. What's better than one topless Zach Efron? But two. Jordan Scott was Efron's stunt double in the 2016 comedy Dirty Grandpa. Jordan worked alongside Efron when his character needed to do some crazy stunts. But the thing that makes this guy cooler than the awesome actor himself is that when Efron's character rides a motorcycle naked, Scott took his place as a butt double. Efron did do some of the shots in beige briefs, but refused to fully show his derriere. Either way, Scott had him covered, from head to tush. Time to pick a side. Brie Larson and Joanna Bennett. Brie Larson is playing the most powerful superhero of them all, Captain Marvel, in the MCU film of the same name. Obviously, this role requires a huge amount of stunts, and luckily, she was paired up with the kick-ass stunt woman Joanna Bennett. Joanna is a stunning blonde that will steal the screen anytime she flies in to cover Brie's stunts. Joanna has a resume to top actors. She's done stunts on Aquaman for both Amber Heard and Nicole Kidman, Justice League for both Gal Gadot and Robin Wright, and has worked with Elle Fanning, Kirsten Dunst, and even Taylor Swift on her video Bad Blood. Come on, let's go. Margot Robbie and Ingrid Kleinig. Ingrid Kleinig is one of Hollywood's top female stunt doubles, fully showing up the men from time to time. The main actress Kleinig works with is Margot Robbie. We see many of this woman's talents in the action-packed Suicide Squad and The Legend of Tarzan. Kleinig can also be seen in Ant-Man and the Wasp as Evangeline Lilly's double, as well as Mad Max Fury Road, Kong Skull Island, The Hobbit, American Horror Story, and Justice League, just to name a few. Not anymore. Ryan Gosling and Adam Hart The Canadian heartthrob Ryan Gosling has had his fair share of stunts to take on, and often he has a cooler-than-ever double to stand in harm's way. Adam Hart began working with Gosling on Gangster Squad in 2013. Next, he took on all the intense, risky action in Blade Runner 2049. And in 2018, Hart is doubling once again for Gosling in First Man. But that isn't the only thing that puts our leading man Gosling to shame. Hart has also stunted on Westworld, Daredevil, Divergent, American Hustle, John Carter, and way, way more. Mila Kunis and Kachina Deckert The London-born stuntwoman Kachina Deckert has sure made a name for herself in Hollywood, taking on such life-threatening jobs as Mission Impossible Fallout, The Mummy, and John Wick. But it's her work with stunner Mila Kunis on The Angriest Man in Brooklyn that got this beauty recognized. Not only is Kachina as strong as Wonder Woman, she's also a Spice Girls fan and a dog lover. There's way more to this gal than just jumping off buildings for a job. You're late. You're missing an eye. Chris Hemsworth and Bobby Holland Hanton. Bobby Holland Hanton is a Hollywood stunt double heartthrob that may take even Chris Hemsworth's good looks to trial. Bobby has worked alongside the Thor actor for years. Bobby is Hemsworth's main stuntman in all the Marvel films as well as the film In the Heart of the Sea. But Hemsworth isn't the only stud that Bobby throws himself down for. He's also stunted for Chris Evans, Channing Tatum, Ryan Reynolds, and Daniel Craig. Talk about star power. Lily Collins and Naomi Frenette Lily Collins' stunt double in Mortal Instruments' City of Bones is a stunner and a skilled one at that. This woman takes all the hits, falls, and crazy moves that actress Collins can't do. She's as beautiful as Collins herself and not afraid to face any stunt that comes her way. Naomi has also doubled on all the X-Men films, Pompeii, and White House Down. Not to mention that she's also lent her adrenaline-loving self to do stunts in video games. Brad Pitt and Rick English Rick English has over 130 credits on his IMDb page in 2018, many of which are with major movie stars, one of them being Brad Pitt. Now, it's hard to argue that anyone could put Pitt to shame, but if it's gonna be anyone, it's Mr. English. In World War Z, English took on all of Pitt's crazy stunts and made him look like the badass we all know him as. But it isn't only Pitt that English is putting to shame. He is also stunted for Gerard Butler, Colin Firth, Eddie Redmayne, Patrick Wilson, and Nick Cage. Gonna happen every time? 
I think so. Emma Stone and Jennifer Caputo. Emma Stone got slack in 2016 for using a body double in the Oscar-winning La La Land, but before any of that double trouble nonsense, stunt double Jennifer Caputo threw the kicks for Stone in The Amazing Spider-Man. Caputo has been in the stunt game for a long time now, starting all the way back in the 1990s. Caputo is one of the few female stunt artists that do driving stunts, which is incredibly rare in the industry. Recently, she's worked on Jason Bourne and Scream Queens. Robert Pattinson and Paul Darnell Robert Pattinson and Paul Darnell began working together as of the massively successful Twilight series. Darnell also doubled for Pattinson in Remember Me, always making the Hollywood hunk look like a man with no fear. And this stuntman has lent his talents to many other films, such as Jurassic World, 300, Rise of an Empire, and Captain America The First Avenger. So you may not have heard his name, but he's taken on all the hard hits for big time actors each day. Not to mention he's pretty gorgeous himself. <laughs> Johnny Depp and Tony Angelotti Over the years, Johnny Depp has needed a plethora of stunt doubles for his iconic role of Captain Jack Sparrow in The Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, and all those other crazy films he takes on. But Depp's main man is Tony Angelotti, who, when in costume, looks identical to the major star. Tony began working with Depp in the first Pirates film in 2003, and stopped in 2007 in At World's End. Tony was injured on set during rehearsal in 2005 and sued the production for negligence, which could be the reason for Tony not doing the last few Pirates films. Jennifer Lawrence and Renee Moneymaker Renee Moneymaker is the Jennifer Lawrence of the stunt world, which makes them a perfect match to take on any film together. Since Hunger Games in 2013, Renee has been taking the punches for Lawrence. From Passengers to Red Sparrow and X-Men to Mother, Renee is the adrenaline junkie we don't even give enough credit to. She's put her impeccable talents to good use all over the world, even doubling for Evangeline Lilly in Ant-Man and Michelle Pfeiffer in Ant-Man and the Wasp. Dakota Johnson and Robert Lee Harvey. Sometimes with stunts, there's a need for a gender swap. Like when Fifty Shades of Grey star Dakota Johnson had Robert Lee Harvey double her for a motorcycle scene in Cymbeline. Though the modern-day Shakespeare adaptation didn't do so well, Robert did his job perfectly, making Dakota look like a grade-A biker chick. Robert doesn't only do driving stunts, he does them all. Kira Knightley and Lisa Hoyle. Lisa Hoyle is the stunning woman who doubled for British beauty Kira Knightley in Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl starting in 2003. Prior to teaming up with Knightley, Lisa jumped, swung, fell, and punched in Charlie's Angels, Planet of the Apes, Spider Man, Pearl Harbor, National Treasure, Iron Man, and Zombieland, to name a few. This lady's credits go on so long we can't even begin to name them all. But you get it, she's just plain awesome. Paul Rudd and Mark Aaron Wagner. Paul Rudd has brought our beloved good guy superhero to life in Ant-Man, but not without the help of stuntman Mark Aaron Wagner. Ant-Man may be the MCU's smallest hero, but he sure has the biggest and most fearless stuntman. Mark has also doubled on Westworld and three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri for Sam Rockwell. In 2019, catch him in Captain Marvel as well. Scarlett Johansson and Heidi Moneymaker. Kicking ass must run in the family for the Moneymaker sisters, because Heidi Moneymaker is also a successful and beautiful double. Heidi is Scarlett Johansson's main stunt double for her role as Black Widow, but it doesn't stop there. Heidi also took the falls for Johansson in the Coen Brothers' Hail Caesar. Oh, and you know those little films called The Hunger Games? Well, Heidi doubled for the iconic Julianne Moore in the franchise as well. And all curses can be broken. Jennifer Goodwin and Maya Aro. The star of ABC's hit series Once Upon a Time is played by the lovely Jennifer Goodwin. With any action fantasy series, there is going to be a fair share of stunts to go around. Maya Aro is Jennifer's leading stunt lady and has worked alongside her on the show since 2012. But that isn't Maya's only claim to fame. This fearless woman has also worked on a series of unfortunate events, Bates Motel, Thor, Smallville, and over 15 other shows. Basically, this lady's a downright badass. Tom Hardy and Jacob Tomery. It's hard to look tough besides someone as brooding and handsome as Tom Hardy, but Jacob Tomery did just that. Jacob kept Hardy safe on the set of Mad Max Fury Road, The Revenant, and Legend. The two teamed up together again for Hardy's Marvel debut as the anti-hero Venom in the film of the same name. Jacob started his stunt career doing the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit films. Kate Beckinsale and Alicia Vela Bailey. Alicia Vela Bailey has stunted for almost every top female actress in Hollywood. But it's Kate Beckinsale who she really fought for, like literally fought. Alicia doubled for Beckinsale in all the Underworld films, as well as Total Recall. And the two ladies look so insanely alike, you can't even tell who is who when they're geared up in the same costumes. 
Gal Gadot and Caitlin Deschel. Caitlin Deschel is one of the most impressive stunt women to date. Deschel was Gal Gadot's leading stunt woman on Wonder Woman and is just as beautiful, tough, and talented as the leading woman. Deschel has black belts in three martial arts disciplines. She can wield a sword better than Thor can wield his hammer. Deschel has also stunted on Teen Wolf, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and is slated to work as Mackenzie Davis's double in the new Terminator reboot in 2018. Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise, and Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise's stunt double is... Oh wait, that's right. Tom Cruise is a badass who won't let any double do his crazy work for him. Despite his being a valuable part of every film project he works on, he refuses to have anyone else help him out. For Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, Cruise actually scaled the tallest building in the world, Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Alicia Vikander and Lucy Jane Murray Alicia Vikander filled Angelina Jolie's shoes in the 2018 Tomb Raider, where she played the renowned Lara Croft. But the main lady to Vikander was Lucy Jane Murray. Lucy started started stunt doubling in 2014 and has had a slew of incredible projects since, including Wonder Woman. Lucy has six upcoming projects in 2018 and the live-action remake of Aladdin in 2019 where she doubles for Naomi Scott playing Jasmine. Elizabeth Banks and Krista Bell Krista Bell has been in the game for years and was caught alongside Elizabeth Banks on the set of Power Rangers in 2017. The two were dressed the same as Rita Repulsa and looked like doppelgangers. Krista Bell did the hard work for Banks, but that isn't the only leading lady she's doubled. She's also worked with Amy Adams, Naomi Watts, and Britt Robertson. Amelia Clark and Rosie Mack Rosie Mack, Amelia Clark's double on the insanely successful HBO Game of Thrones show, was a surefire pick, not even having to audition. Both Clark and Mack are natural brunettes, so they each spend up to three hours prior to shooting getting their blonde wigs put on. But it's Mack who does all the major stunts to protect the series' lovable actress, and was picked up for the full season 5 after she worked one episode on season 4. Can you tell the difference between the two? The Rock and Tanoi Reed You wouldn't think that Dwayne The Rock Johnson would need a stunt double, but the big Softy does. The man he's used for the last 17 years is none other than his cousin Tanoi Reed. They've worked together on almost every project Dwayne does. Most recently, Rampage, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, and The Fate of the Furious. Overall, they've worked on over 20 projects together. Just the best experience. Would you risk your life to do a cool stunt? Which stunt double was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to give us a like and subscribe to Screen Rant to join our exclusive team. Thanks for watching.